Good morning, good morning, good morning. I went to Michael's yesterday and my Michael's in Lawrence, Kansas, and they have their loops and threads new yarn there. Now I know I showed you some new loops and yarns thread the other day, but I didn't go in depth looking at it. So this time I wanted to get all the textures, the colors, the names, all that kind of stuff. So let's go look at it. This is super de duper exciting. I am at my Michaels and we are looking at the new Loops and Threads yarn in depth. This is the Natural Marl and I heard somebody say that it reminds them of the Ice Yarns Picasso. This particular color is apricot and it's got some pinks and some peaches and it's super duper pretty. 69% polyester, 20% acrylic and whatever was left in wool. I'm sure we'll see another look at it. 278.8 yards. I want to measure that out to see if it's exactly that. It is 69% polyester, 22% acrylic, 9% wool. This color is sunset. And I wonder why if it's all those polyester why it's called natural marl. Well, it does have the 9% wool. So there's that. This color is emerald and it has some purples and some greens. It's very, very pretty. This is light pine and it does have pine green colors in it. Now I did watch my Yarny Bestie Kim's review of this yarn. She gave it a big, uh, big thumbs down. I have yet to try it, so I don't know what I think about it. Sometimes we're in agreement, sometimes we're not, so I will have to see what I think about it. But she's right, it is very beautiful. It is very super duper beautiful, and I did buy a color. Let's see, this one is, oh, I forgot to say the color of that last one. This color is Dark Sapphire. That other one was pink and it was really pretty. This is the color that I got. It is Spice. I really like this. This is gonna make something awesome for fall. And this one is blush well, that's winter blush winter blush it has some black it's a weird blush color I mean it looks maybe it's they're talking about the soot oh this is pearl this is very pretty as well but yeah that winter blush kind of looks like when ooh, what color is this coal now the coal and the winter blush. Oh, I can see it now. Do you see kind of a, a peachy color in that winter blush? Yeah, I see it now. Oh my goodness, look at these colors. <gasps> now this is a whole new display that they put up in my Michaels. This is the Cozy Heathered Yarn. 51 yards, limited time only. Beautiful, fluffy wonderfulness. It is $9.99 for this yarn. And when you use the 20% off coupon, you can get it for $8. Misty Rose is the color. And let's see, I'll go over here. This color, I'm going to show you some real close ups of this yarn in a minute. This is, I believe it's 100% polyester. The color is Irish Cream. It does kind of look like the Irish cream uh, coffee. Oh, this is my favorite color. Look at this. Look at the little orange fluffs coming out of the white fluffs. Isn't that gorgeous? Amber is what the color of this. And let's go down to, oh no, this is my favorite color. And you guys, I got to tell you, this is super duper soft. I would love to have a blanket made out of this. 
Plum. Well, no wonder it's my favorite. It's plum. We love the plum colors. Or I do. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you do too. Oh my goodness, look at that. Can you feel it? And it smells good too. This is grape. Indeed, it looks like grape. Down here we have a blue and a green. Let's see what color this green is. This is sea pine. Super pretty colors. 51 yards. Oh, I guess they all have 51 yards. This is blue. It is six super bulky. I don't know if I said that before. And it is ink. Oh, I like that. Next, we have some gray. Let's see what the color name of this is. It's 100% polyester gray. Okay, I can go with that. Next, we're going to go up to this peachy color. This is called barely pink, and you guys can see that. It is barely pink. Oh, that looks so pretty with that. That would make a beautiful anything. This color is rosewood. Oh, look, it's got that rose color, but the base underneath it is pink. Whereas most of them are, are, are the white base underneath. This is light blue. And if you guys want to get a little better look at this, um, put your settings up in the right hand corner. It has where you can watch at a slower setting. This is, I just have it the regular speed right here. Ooh, black, it has gr like gray in it. And this color is sand. And it's got brown and kind of a tannish color. I love all of these colors. What do you guys think? If you're big, thick, yarn, loving people, let me know what you would be making with these. Uh, this is my, oh, I like want to say that so many are my favorites because I look at a new one and I see it again and I'm like, oh, that's my favorite. Okay, now check these out. These are the Sherpa Cozy Sherpa. It is 93 yards of a limited limited time only yarn and this is super super soft look at that look at that fluffiness this is fall leaf that's the name of this color and this is the green wouldn't that make such like a soft lining for a jacket lily pad is the name. I believe these are $9.99 too. And I just want to focus on the softness for a moment. Tan, Oxford tan. That would be a cute teddy bear. And yes, it, it you know, it's it feels even softer than it looks. Java. It's like a cup of coffee. Oh, that is wonderful, isn't it? Here's the white, and it is Blanc. That's the name of the color. It's 100% polyester as well. And this is gray. Oyster, oyster, that's what this is. It looks like an oyster. Oh, here's, here is it next to the, here it is next to the white. And you can see the gray next to the white. Otherwise it kind of looks white. This is gunmetal. Well, here, this is this is what you make your hardcore teddy bear out of. The gunmetal. <laughs> oh, sorry. Didn't mean to get a big shot of cardboard there. <gasps> oh, cozy fur, 37 yards. And it is $9.99. And it looks like it's the same, it's the same size skein as the cozy Sherpa next to it, but it's much thicker. And 
oh my gosh, it's like got a different kind of softness. But here, here's the difference in the size of, of the Sherpa and the fur. The fur is just like a big rope of fur. So pretty. And this is 100% polyester. This color is pink. It is limited time only. 37 yards as opposed to 93 yards. But this this goes a pretty long way because it's so fluffy. I mean, it makes a big, bigger thing, if that makes sense. Raise your hand if you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh, there's that cardboard again. Ooh, husky. That would make the cutest stuffed husky. Or make a little jacket for a little grandbaby Emmy and then call her little puppy dog. <laughs> I don't know. I start looking at this yarn and I get ridiculous because I love it so much. I love how it's black towards the middle and it as it comes out it, it gets it gets lighter. It it looks like a real dog. And this is white. Oh, there's the white, the fur next to the Sherpa. They're the same color. But this one's called Ivory. This down here is, oh, here is it next to the Gunmetal Gray Sherpa. And this is just gray. And here's a black. Oh, this is beautiful. I love this so much. Wouldn't that make a great Elvis wig? I think I've made a great Elvis wig. <laughs> Over here. Oh, okay. This, I'm going to show you. I'm going to be crawling into this little tiny space in between this one uh, cart and this shelf here. 32 yards, cozy blanket. It's a seven weight. Look how thick that is. You know, I'm not for the thick yarns very much, but I got to tell you, I love these colors. It's a seven weight, 100% polyester. Like I could literally just use these for a pillow if they wouldn't come unwound. I wonder how many skeins it takes to make that blanket. There we go. One, 100% polyester. Mauve, that's this color. The color is mauve. This color is, I bet it's rose or something like that. Oh, how did I know? It's rose. And it's super big and thick and luscious. I mean, seriously, if you guys are big yarn, oh my gosh. Look at this. This is just ridiculous. Rhubarb. This is a ridiculously beautiful color of red. I'm dying over here. I mean, I'm not a thick yarn lover, but I really think I need to get that red. The purple, what is this, grape? I'm thinking this is grape. Yes, this is grape. Beautiful. And this is, I bet it's plum. Mm -hmm. Plum is my favorite color of all time. Nope, it's boysenberry. Well, I like boysenberry too. Boysenberry and plum are my favorite colors. Here is the yellow. Oh, we're getting in close there. Sorry, I've got this thing I'm bumping into. This is how much space I have. I'm crammed into this little tiny space. Mustard. But you know what? We will go to any lengths for our yarn, won't we? This is brown. Oh, this is the Java color. I'm sorry I'm going so, so fast. It didn't seem like I was going this super fast when I was doing it. If you need to slow it down um, in the settings, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. super cool too. You know, like sometimes you speed it up to go faster through them. Sometimes you just got to slow it down. Now, and next time I, I do a voiceover like this, I'll slow it down a little bit. This is sand. Oh, oh my goodness. It's like, it's like a sandstorm, but they have more colors over here. 
I know, right? They have a lot of colors. This one is jadeite. Very pretty greens. Dark green. All these beautiful fall colors. I'm envisioning them in my new rainbow yarnscape at home. Like which crate would they go into? Oh, hello. I don't have enough room in my crates. I guess I'll have to make some more. Teal. Gorgeous. We're getting up close and personal with this yarn. This is blue. And uh, there's the blanket you can make with that. I wonder if they do that with their hands or a hook. I bet this one next to it is light blue. This is, ta-da, ooh, ash blue. I like that better. That was a, makes me like it even more. You know, when they come up with really creative names for their yarns, it just makes it better, I think. This is fog. I mean, see, isn't that better than just gray? This over here, I bet it's gonna be gray. Let's see, steel. See, that makes me like the yarn better, steel. That's very fitting for that yarn. Down here, we've got the white, but this one is called white. <laughs> but I guess they call this one white because they called the other one's name like oyster and ivory and things like that. This one is black. Okay, black and white, we can handle that. Okay, I'll accept that. It's still, but wouldn't it be like, like a more attractive yarn if they called it something like jet fuel and puffy clouds? Okay, over here, I think this is the last one. These are the Eco Naturals. And these, I, I got, let's see, I'll have to, I don't remember which one I got. Dusty Rose, 200 yards. And this is... 100% recycled polyester. Now, I always wondered when they say it's 100% polyester, if it's like from those leisure suits of the 70s. <laughs> or really, what's where does this polyester come from? I want to know. Cranberry, it's got um, cranberry color and brown and white all twisted around. And this is a heavier, kind of denser yarn. I'm I'm super excited to try it. This is, and I kind of want to make that hat that's on the label. This is called Navy Blush. Appropriate because it has navy color in it and blush color in it and some brown. Eco Naturals. So it's polyester, but it has naturals in it, but there are no naturals in it. I wonder if they can call it naturals because it is recycled. Okay, this is my favorite one. Blue stone. It has blue and gray and kind of a creamy white color. This is Dijon. The dark, kind of dark brown, dark chocolate brown and the mustard. I like this one better. If they would have had this one at the Michaels when I went to Michaels the other day, I would have gotten the blue, but they didn't have that color in yet. This color is cedar. There's a nice cedar color and cedar green. Little bit of white, but not much white. This has a lot more white in it. And this is uh, jade. It has like a jade green and kind of a cinnamon color brown. Oh, this is the color that I got. This is bark, like the bark of a tree. Or if a dog's bark was a color, maybe it would be that. <laughs> I don't know. This is blah, 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 sand. And it has some white and brown and dark brown. This is charcoal has some white and some gray and some black in it. This one is snow. It's a little bit of dirty snow, it looks like, because it has gray in it. 
Well, that was the end of the new Loops and Threads yarns at Michael's. And like I said, if it seemed like it was going a little fast, just go into settings and slow it down a little. Some people like it fast, some slow. So if you didn't know about that thing you can do in the settings, go check that out. Some people like to do it fast just to get it done faster. So anyway, as you can tell, I'm in my downstairs yarn room and I'm going to work on my yarn stash redo today. So hopefully I'll get be getting another one of those videos out for you super duper soon. All right, you guys, I hope you love the new in-depth look at the new <laughs> Loops and Threads yarns. You guys have a wonderful day, wonderful Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. Love you guys.